Hello, it's Sarah, and it's time for our February art journal page. This year is the second year I'm going to be doing a journal page every month, at least one. Last year I did two in February, one from Valentine's Day and one from February, but I'm going to kind of combine the two. Now this isn't the page. This is actually the cover that I made for a junk journal. And I was going through stuff and I saw this and this is from a p pattern um, paper pack, right? That came with this house pre-made, this little fence pre-made and I just cut this out of a piece of the paper and put it on the cover of my junk journal that I never made. <laughs> but it really spoke to me yesterday because I have recently taken a small trip away from home and coming back home and Valentine's Day being right there and love was in the air and just <clears throat> it just felt it felt right so I kind of wanted to do that but I thought we could get out the old um, so I have this is our January page those of you who are following along go back and look and you'll find that that was a lot of stamping and stenciling and stuff like that this is going to be collage I love collage so I just really felt like doing this and this is the old the big one I guess it's an 8 by 10 I don't see the actual measurement so let me take this out of the packaging this is the jelly print plate by jelly arts for mono printing and mono printing is you get you get one print so you're going to add color to this gelatin like plate and I know there's homemade ones that you can do but it's basically um, has resistance to it so it's really cool and I've made stamps to do this so I am going to I don't know if this is going to be good or not I haven't gessoed the page see I probably should gosh I have clear gesso I'm just going to clear gesso it because reason being it is paper is a porous surface right I have clear gesso so I might as well because I don't want I mean you could use white gesso I think I might use white because um, this background I want to keep really light and you know that's not my way I have a difficult time keeping things very very light and I think now I'm going to use a brush I'm just going to use a big brush um, I'm going to get it wet first and just um, blot and just get this gesso a little slicker than normal and just give it a quick coating gesso has a grittiness to it as well and so it's not always ideal if you don't like a lot of texture if you want now I'm from a decorative painting background and generally we paint on a very smooth surface so you want to prep your piece and sand it down and get it really nice and smooth before you do decorative painting but in mixed media that's kind of changed that's not the um, preferred method you tend to want a lot more texture so let me set that aside and let it dry and in the meantime we will create some paper so for the background I'm probably going to use blues and greens and a little pops of little pops of yellow and stuff like that remember um, we talked about the the um, color wheel so not to make mud, you want to stick to the same side of the color wheel. Once you go across the color wheel, you have a tendency to make mud. So we won't do that. But then for my house, I kind of want to make it uh, like pinky, right? So here's this house. I like this and the way it just one, two, three, right? And do it in threes. And then they did one, two, three. Okay, so that's what I'm thinking. Now, I've pulled kind of different papers that I've not, that I don't usually jelly plate with. You can use any type of paper to create jelly prints. Um, I've used a lot of cardstock, just basic white cardstock or basic white 
printer paper, the paper that you put into your printer. So I have that. But I also have um, graph paper, which is fun, right? And then this is by, uh, what is her name? I can picture, anyway, this is a product that she printed words on and it's kind of, I'm trying to look for papers that are light too. I don't want to use things that are too thick. This is the paper that they wrap your um, glass items with at like, I think probably Christmas tree shops. I got this, so I'm going to just make it into smaller pieces so it's easier to work with this over here everything's sticking to it um right over there so yeah gather up some different types of papers not just only white standard paper so then this was something and I think Allie may have sent this to me it's a tissue paper that has words printed all over it all happy nice sweet loving words kindness dreams she sacrificed so I just really I thought that would be cool now I've never jelly printed on tissue paper and it may not work so you know just remember that but this is a jelly print and this is on more of a card stock so it's for me to collage with it I just want it to be a little less stiff paper now this is actually a piece of paper that comes right from the same paper pad that my cover came from it's not the same as this like I said this was probably on the cover page of the photo of the paper pack but this is a piece that went with it so I thought well that would be perfect maybe I'll just um, I mean it already has some color to it so I may just use that but I just pulled it um, what else and just some more printer paper deli paper this one's already printed as well and I think this was just something that I was briaring off on or after I stamped on the jelly plate I stamped off over here to clean my stamps off but it's got a lot of bright metallic -y colors right and in small doses that's not that's good stuff if you wanted to use it in a collage okay and then also just your standard deli paper which I use I'm not positive because I just don't have a good memory. But this is Markel, junior size, inner folded, dry wax paper. I think I got it at BJ's, but I'm not positive. And you can always Google it and look online, but it's your standard deli paper that you would use to wrap a sandwich with. Um, so again, another kind of, it's still not going to fall apart on me like tissue paper might. But it, it's a good um, type of paper for you to um, see. I've already jelly printed or probably just brayered off on here. So what I want you to do first, because the background is going to be in the blues and greens and all that stuff, grab some opposite on the color wheel, right? So you don't want to just go with the sames, samesies, but I'm going to jelly print the background on my, onto my paper. I'm not going to collage that, so let me let this dry for a little longer, and I'll work on some pinks and purples maybe and some greens, because I'm also going to cut pieces out for the door, the windows, the roof pieces, the chimney, so I'm going to cut all these pieces out separately to create our house and then our hearts, and then also pick out some and if you've made them already and if you watch my videos I've shared this in the past as well um, making stamps from kids foam so this type of thing where you just stick little circles onto a thicker piece of kids foam and then this is a becomes a great source of mark making right for mark making and this is just a piece of corrugated cardboard but you can make marks with it so this is just my bin filled with different random household items and some of those stamps that I've created using um, kids foam okay there's some regular stamps in here there's all spouncers and 
all types of different stuff. Anything that can make marks on your jelly plate. Ooh, hearts. I definitely want to pull that because we, I'm going for a love theme. So let's see, I have, I love circles too. So circles are always my thing. How about flowers, hearts, and circles? So I'll do circle. I mean, this is kind of, this is a specific kind of flower. I like these flowers better. So I think I'm going to go with flowers that I've made. This kind of fits in with the circle theme and this. All right, so I'm going to clear my desk off and get ready to go. I'm going to get out my jelly plate and um, figure out what colors I want to use, okay? Let me see if I have any more hearts. Um, and you can always just use a... Um, I don't know if I have any of them, but they're like gelatin. What are they called? Not gelatin, um, but they're made of rubber. It's like a rubber. I mean, you could use this. This is just a stick, but it's called something, and I can't think of it. It's like a, um, a silicone mark making tool, right? I can't think of it. I don't have any of them, but they're in the. Um, they're in the art stores, so I don't have any of those, but you can just write words, like maybe I'll write love. You just want to be gentle with the jelly plate. You don't want to gouge it or anything. All right, so let me set this all aside. I'll be right back, and we'll start jelly printing. Oh, you're going to need a briar. So you got to get your trusty old briar, which I'll find mine. You know, it's, a, it's like a little roller. All right, so I'll be right back. Okay, so since I... You know, I went away, let's be honest. I wasn't here for a while, came back, and this is dry. So I'm going to start with my blues and get my background done. I'm going to add a little pink, maybe the glitter pink. Anywho, let's just start with some light, just a little. I want to be gentle. See, that's a thing. It's, you know me, it's so hard for me not to go full force. And you want to just take your brayer, and I couldn't find my big brayer because I have a big one too. That doesn't look like it's enough paint at all, but you know what? Maybe I don't want a lot of paint, Sarah. All right, it's spreading around. That's good. All right, I like it. I like it. You know what we'll do? I'll take this and I'll brayer it off on that. And we will take some of these little suckers over here. So blue, I want to do, let's do hearts. So hearts, hearts. I don't know why I have to say hearts every time, but for some reason it makes it funner. And let's just do a pull. Let's do a like, a, like not a full pull, but like a little bit there. And a little bit there and then let's use a different piece of paper like this kind and take the rest look it looks like there's pizza on it I don't know sub oil some type of oil and look okay so let's do a little bit of teal and I have a metallic version of like a teal, I think. Let's see. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, this is the glitter blue. Let's try it. And I also do have, ooh, 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 this is metallic sapphire. So see, we're working kind of light right now, but I don't want to get crazy. We'll take this brayer. Oh, look. And I'm putting hearts in the background, circles and hearts I showed you already. And I'm going to brayer it off on the paper. And then I'm going to do the bigger hearts. I have a bigger heart one, wherever. This one. Look at this. See, bigger hearts. Bigger hearts. Kind of have to wiggle it to take the paint off a little bit, I think. And I'll put that on there. So 
you just stamp it off and like that and then I'm taking my background again and I'm going to take this little part well let's just do some middle Kirby what are you doing what did you find my dog is cray cray all right, and then I want purple. I definitely want some purple. So let's take a different piece of paper. I want to try it on a piece of this. This is actual real tissue paper. It just has words on it. Oops, so it's printed. And I'm gonna see what this is like. works just fine and I think there's even like more left on there that's the thing you can always get a second and a third and a lot of other okay there, that's not really coming through so this time I'm gonna put purple and the glitter I think well did I just do glitter no I did the metallic Purple and because the glitter is really transparent. Look how much I put of that though. So this is super transparent. So let's see what happens when I blend these two. It just took over. The purple metallic, it took over. Sorry about that little glitter. Let's see here. Yeah. do some of these bigger shapes or no I kind of want to do more little see what I have the flowers this little flowers shimmer goodness all right it doesn't really come off there so let's do a um i want to put a little on my background but i want to get a real big print but let's put a little bit hold on curb she probably wants to go out we just went out we went to I don't know if you guys have any of you have ever been to Tony's to Atlantic City, but there's a famous pizza place there. It's old and it looks exactly the same as it always has. Tony's Baltimore Grill. We went there for dinner. I don't know how long it's been, but it was so good. That's pretty because look, I got the the actually this the glitter was on the underneath the metallic. That's cool. I'll be right back. I kind of wish this was my background because that is so cool. That's all I wanted. Maybe I'll use that for my background because look, this is what my background's looking like. It's a little bit too bright. Well, I didn't leave enough white space. Like probably like that. I don't know. We can always do white on top. I like it though. I think it's coming together. Remember, we're going to be putting a house on top of it. But so you can see the hearts. I like it. And the flowers. I think I'm going to stop. I really like it. Maybe. See, I kind of want to get something. No, I need more. Um, one more time of what color? I think I'm going to put a tiny bit of like yellow. I think I, or gold. <gasps> what about, see look how excited I get. I'm such a weirdo. Like yellow and gold so that it kind of comes out a little more like yellowy than, let's just do a tiny bit of yellow and gold. And look, it'll be residuals, it'll be left too. So I got that and then gold.
Anywho, um, <clears throat> Maya's coming tonight, and she is taking guitar lessons. So a friend of her, Olita's from church, has been teaching her some chords. It's been two weeks since we've seen her because of all the stuff that's happening with my son. But um, she got the guitar from the movie Coco, which is a, it's a, I guess it's, in Spanish culture, the de al de las tor de le day of the dead, les los muertos, dia de las muertos, something like that, the day of the dead. Anywho, um, so she has that guitar with a sugar skull on it, so she's excited to show me and to see her moves. So anywho, um, let's see what kind of look at this. We could just do dots. Dots. And then I will stamp this off onto something. See, I don't want to waste this, but I think it dries out like fast see and it doesn't really you don't get a good impression with the what's left on here but we'll get a good impression of this I should do this first just put a little yellow get any circles like I wanted to but I see the gold I can definitely see the sheen of the gold and let's see if this will even pull off because I think it feels dry I'm not putting a lot of paint down. Look, it didn't even pull. Just the very, very wettest parts. So let's do, I'm going to add, I can probably do, I'm going to do pink. What does pink and yellow make? Uh-oh. Where did I put my... Let's see if pink and yellow are close to each other. I think it, I don't know if it'll make mud. We're going to try it. It's an experiment. And I'm going to use fuchsia too. Come on in, Curb. Kirby, you can do it. Oh, I left the door open. Did you come in? I don't know. Uh, Kirby? That was better. And then let's do... That is pretty with the gold from the last pull, right? I don't think I can get any more of that pink. We'll see. Kinda. Kinda. Look at all that. Can you see that like metallic on the edges? I think this is a tiny bit of pink I just got just then. I might wanna do more pink. It's all dry. This is gorge though. I'm thinking I'm gonna use this for my house. So this is the house. Where's that one that I did with the um, letters on it? Oh, it's blue. Shoot. Cause I kinda wanna use this for the roof. So 
So I'll do another piece. Let me think of a color that I want to use for the roof. I want, I want to really keep it this color. Um, all right, let me just go get her. Okay, so this is my background. I'm absolutely loving it. It's just that I really feel like it's super bright, so I really need to calm it down. So I think I'm going to go over it with stenciling and white paint and really calm it down. Um, I think I'm going to use those. I have a stencil that's, um, well, we'll get to that, but I'm going to stop with this right now and leave it, let it dry, and finish up our, I have this little piece that I'd like to do for the roof and the fence. So now I don't know if I have enough. This is going to be my house. I have this pretty purple piece, but this was an accident. I was just doing a pull from the purple to get some purple on my background. So I kind of want the pink, so I can use the pink for the house and the chimney. And then I'm going to use, I need a fence and the roof. And I think I want to use this. I don't think this is going to be enough. Yes, it is. The fence can go this way. Yeah, so let's just put a little bit of a little bit of pink on here. I'm gonna go in and get my glitter. This is called Glamour Dust Ultra Fine. And I must have a metallic. I know I have a pink pearl. I just don't know where. Sometimes I move my paints so that I can, um, do I have a fluorescent? <gasps> I do, I have the neon. This is more of a fiery red. Mendicino, this is super dark. Too dark. I really, really, really want to try and keep it light. But if I could find the, um, the metallic, or it's actually called pearl pink. Why the heck? Gotta be some place right in front of my face. Uh, but it's not. You know what might look cute would be like a, like a pinkish flesh color. This isn't pink enough. It's called dark flesh. Oh, what the heck? I'll just do it with the bubble gum. A little bit. That is really a little bit. And that is fluorescent ultra fine glitter paint, neon pink. Seems like the bubble gum took over. Well, well, well. I want to do hearts again because I didn't get any hearts. Maybe I'll just try to do it like this. Yay! It worked. Yay! It worked again. I'm going to use the little hearts too. Kind of doing it in a stamping off way. Should have done it in a totally different color though. Listen, I'm no expert at this stuff. This has like black stamping on it. Let's see what that looks like. But 
But see all the glitter. See, that's not good. All the glitter stayed. I don't know. Whatever. This pull could be good. The second pull. Maybe I should have just added glitter by itself. See, that's good. That's how I want it to be. Shoot. That's kind of what I wanted this to be. That pull. The second pull. Right? So, when you're doing it, it doesn't have to be... I think I might just use this and stamp words on it. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stamp words on it. Alright, so we have... This is our house. You know what we can use for windows? We could use the purple for windows. Alright, I'm going to go off camera and clear off my desk and get ready to add some um, what am I going to add? I'm going to see I have little bits and pieces um, <clears throat> where's my background? I need to stencil white on there and I have a really cool stencil of um, lace. It's like a, a doily-ish pattern so I'll be right back. I just want to actually I might pack this away the way it is. I could clean. You can clean it. You just take a wet wipe and just take the most most of it off. Some people don't clean their jelly plates at all and just live like to have that leftover little surprise. Um, but I think I'm going to clean it off because who knows when I'll get it out again. And I do want it to last and I'm not the best at cleaning things for sure. Like my stencils, everything. It's just, um, it gets messy. Alright, so I'll be right back. Alright, look at all that gorgeous color. But, to finish off this background, I do want to tone all that color down a little bit because I want the house to be the, the focal point and so I'm going to take, I have a daisy stencil and I have these two different um, doily stencils. I haven't used this one a lot. I want to try this one and see what happens. And white. So I'm going to just put some out on my um, craft sheet and I have these um, you know what I really wanted to use was oh, here. This is the um, the I think it's by Ranger. I just I had a piece, so I just wanted to try it. I haven't used it in a long time since I've been doing. I've uh, been using the makeup sponges, but just let's see the difference between. Because I'm not the best stenciler, and. I just wanted to see if this got me a better result because it's denser or something or now this um, stencil has a lot more covered area like the like see how thin this one is so who knows I mean it may have to do with the fact that I um, I'm gonna do more and because that color is so bright behind it, look, it's already, it's turning my, I'm picking up color and it's turning the sponge orangey. And that is probably because I used the stencil last with Diane Reevely's sprays. That's why it's doing it. So I'm picking it up off the stencil and it is mixing on my, so I have peach. I don't hate it though. I don't. Uh oh. Who's that? Oh, hold on. I'll be back. Okay, so I wiped off that, <laughs> the stencil, because I actually picked up a lot of that color and I don't want it to be peach. I wanted it to be white. So I'm going to try it again. I just placed the stencil right back on there in the same spot and I'm going to try and go over and hopefully I cleaned it off enough that it good I think we're white now and um, just FYI when you're using those um, types of mediums that are reactive with water or moisture 
anytime, see, it's still, I'm still picking it up. That's crazy. <laughs> it lasts forever. And here's the thing. That's why I don't tend to use those products as much anymore. I'm only using the permanent inks um, and things like that and paint. Like that's why I'm sticking with paint for the most part. Um, my Posca paint pens, stuff like that, because I mean, it's an issue. Unless you work with those on a regular basis and you're always wiping your um, stencils and you know, so lesson learned there, Sarah. You got to wipe your stencils off or get peach. So let's just try to add back some more white with, I'm going to do a few daisies too. And I think that should be enough. But I really need to use a different um, sponge. I don't want to have peach. Kiwi is here. Maya got here, so... Um, I think I'm, I'll take a break and we will continue on tomorrow um, creating a little house with lots of love inside. How's that? Kiwi, you are just fluttering. Look at this petty bird. What are you doing? I think I got back my white. That's all I wanted to do was not have too, too, too much color. And even though it was gorgeous, I mean, you know, and if you want all that color, have it. It's just a shame that turned peach. But maybe I'll put my house over that. I think I will. And then we could always do some stamping and stuff like that. But I think I'm going to leave it at this. It's a little disappointing. Like I'm actually tempted to just take a brush. Make sure there's not like a bunch of another color in that. And make it white. I just watered it down way too much. Still, still showing through peach. That is so funny. That is some strong pigment that she's got. All right, well, it is what it is, and I'm sure we will cover a lot of that up when we put our house on there. I'll put my house right over that because this is really looking pretty, right? All right, you guys, that's it for now. We'll come back with part two. Thanks for watching.